Hey everyone, I'm Chet. This is Casey. And uh, we're gonna show you how to maintain and uh, swap out SD cards to check on the data and the health and the status of your chime system. So some of the first things I would do when we get to the site is just kind of check around here and just make sure everything is good to go. Maybe check inside the tipping bucket, make sure any debris that's collected in there is removed and uh, double check your wires, just kind of trace your wires and make sure no rodents have chewed it up. When you, you know, get to wherever osmopods or um, the uh, soil moisture sensors are in the ground, just kind of give them like a little look over. Obviously like don't unbury them, they need to settle. But I just kind of make sure they're all good to go there. And then uh, Casey's gonna show you what to do to figure out how to get the SD cards swapped. So there's a couple things you're gonna need to, when you do this. You're gonna need a, uh, a computer. You're gonna need a SD card USB adapter. And we'll show you where to plug it in. And then your chimes and uh, spare SD cards that we've provided that have the formatted files for like what you need to, uh, like what basically what the microprocessor needs to have in order to like log stuff right so in any case here we go case gonna demo opening up the case and uh, the lights ought to be off the entire time just because it's sleeping in between samples so while it's asleep you can do whatever you want and we'll go over a little bit of what to do if it wakes up while you're uh, doing your thing so open the case by unlatching the side nice. right. open and then to get to the SD card, I find it easiest to kind of lift up the whole base by tilting it, if I pull the batteries up. And then the SD cards on the back here, you just kind of click it in and then it should slide out. And then you just grab it, pull it out, uh, close the case back up just so nothing falls out while you're doing this. And why, or nothing moisture getting in. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Looks like it just turned on but we're going to show you what to do if like the lights actually turn on while you're out here so that was funny timing so what's going on it's going to take a sample and try to log to sd but we don't have a card in there and that's fine it's not going to crash it but we're, we're just going to want to reset press the reset button we'll show you where that's it where that is before we leave yeah. all right so let's go ahead and uh, pop that into the slot so, yeah, so show us where to put it in a little slot at the back there's a marking on here that shows the orientation you want the sd card in so you just kind of slide that in, and then it should settle in nicely. And then you can just plug this into a USB port on a computer. Yeah, and then let's turn this thingy on. If for some reason it's like super wet, you can just swap out the SD card in the field and bring the SD card right with you to the um you know to the office and so it's not raining weather's awesome so we're just gonna like click on this usb drive and all the files that were like on there are here and every time you reset the chime it's going to call it, be called kute chime with a, uh, a a number on it and the number is gonna increase every time the device is like reset and so you can double click on that. It wants me to it wants me to accept Excel. This is a uh, try again. Yeah, let's click accept and see what happens. <laughs> it wants to go through. Uh, send op don't send optional data done. Let's see. Okay, great. So this is all the data it's collected since we installed it. If you have um, these weird uh, pound signs for your timestamps, and that's going to be one thing we're really going to want to check on. Don't worry. We'll just uh, um, uh, all you got to do is where you, you have to resize it. How come it's not letting me resize the cell? This is funny. 
this is a, a really fun video. Anyways, if you click on these, you'll see the timestamps up here. And then um, all you have to do is resize the cell, but for some reason my laptop at this point in time is not letting me resize the cells. Um, so that's fun. And it, you should be able to just click, hold, and drag, and these will all show up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the most recent time stamp. And so this looks like uh, this is the UTC time, which is the universal, stand, the universal time. Uh, this is what is used by, like, everybody, so that you know exactly where you're at with respect to this time zone. And then time local is going to give you your local time stamp. It may be in Pacific time uh, for the 2024 deployments. We're reprogramming a lot of these to be in Alaska time. And if it is, we'll, we'll let you know if that is. So it looks like 11.25 a.m. And uh, this is also on Pacific time. So it looks like this was done uh, really recently. So we know our data is being collected recently. Uh, this is our packet number. So it increases by one every packet. The battery voltage is here. Millivolts, same thing for battery. Temperature, humidity, visible light, full spectrum. Uh, this is the um, 119 is going to be the external, uh, the Osmopod. Uh, this will be the one that's like outside and in the water or in the soil, depending on where you're deployed. Uh, the pressure, then we have the temperature of the one that is inside the case. This is 118 and the pressure. Uh, both of these pressures are compared between these two 119-118 sensors to get you the water height if you are uh, in the water. Tipping bucket, I don't think it's rained at all since we deployed this here, so no tips. Um, and so we're not going to get any total accumulation or hourly. This is the Terrace 10 is soil moisture. Wi-Fi is null because we are not connected to Wi-Fi out here. RSSI also is just the signal strength of the Wi-Fi if it's connected. And then your water height, which uh, we're not in water. And so this is just kind of the pressure differential between those two sensors. So you really don't need to regard this if it's not in water. Or like if it's in a well pipe, this will also be useful, this water height. And so, yeah, that's kind of like what you want to check up on. And, uh, next thing is we're going to go over... Uh, how to uh, put a new uh, insert the new SD card so if you want to like grab like a new SD card it's got like basically the same files on it these are um, your MQTT creds.json and your Wi-Fi creds.json so have these two files that are here on the bottom um, these data files you can like copy and send to us in an email or upload to Google Drive. Uh, you want to save those. Never, never just delete them without archiving them somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, let's go ahead and show how to reinsert the SD card. Okay, so for inserting the new SD card, it's basically like taking out the old one, but reverse. You still want to start with uh, opening up the Chime. Uh, then to make the SD card easier to access. Just pull on the batteries to tilt it up diagonally. Then you just insert the SD card into the Hypnos board until you hear it click. Which you, so yeah, this is a little an odd angle to do this at, so it might take a little bit. Do you want to pull the batteries out like a little further? Or yeah. Do you need me to hold on to it? I just want to make sure it doesn't fully fall out of the case. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, so having another person help you with this is very cool. All right, so then once that clicks in, it should be good. And then since the lights uh, turned on, while we were taking out the old SD card, you just want to click uh, reset. I wonder if we can which, point to it with like a stick or something like that. Yeah, it's the it's the one button on the top. It's right here. There's a little reset label uh, on this side of it. So what you want to do is just click reset once, and then these lights here and here should turn on. And then you want to close the chime up, make sure it latches, and then you want to wait. Uh, a few minutes just to make sure these lights turn off. They should turn off within like two or three 
possibly four minutes. And, and if, that'll let you know it's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Um, something to look out for is if you hit the reset button, but you accidentally double click it like a mouse, this red light right here will pulsate dimmer and brighter over and over again. And that means you accidentally put it into like a bootloader mode. And so the, uh, how to fix it is just tap the reset button one more time, uh, just one time. You should see solid lights everywhere that will then go off after a few minutes. And that's it. Thank you.